challenges to do uh, a lot to do with characters and strings again. So uh, our first one is count the characters in a string. Let's do that. If you know how to do it, excellent. So we'll create a string. All right, there's our string and to count the characters, quite easy. Um, just my string dot count. Let's run that. And we should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, including the space. That is done. Awesome. What's next? How would you put the number five into a string? All right, so have a go now if you want to. If not, keep on watching. Excuse me. So I'm going to put the value five into there. Now we can't just do this. This is going to cause an error because this is an int. This is a string. We could turn the five into a string and then that will work. There's one way. Another way is, let's see, uh, we can so wrap the int value if you want to keep it. There we go and put five in there, and that converts it into a string as well. And oh, there's another way. Let's see. Um, let's get that. Uh, you can do insert. So let's say my string, but you still have to convert the five into a string as well. Um, insert, here we go, the character. So you'd, you'd put this character in there or the string version, whatever you're working with, and you choose the index. So I'm gonna put it at the second index, which would put it uh, zero, one, two, after the L. But it doesn't like that, let's see. Wants a character, okay. So I guess you cannot do that, but you can do that, no? I need string index, okay. Uh, string index, let's see, to get the string index, so just say I wanna insert at the second point, um, I have to create the string index and I'm going to try this. I haven't tried this yet. String index. Yep, equals two. Let's see if it'll let me do this. No, it still can't convert it. Now, to create a string index, you have to use the string. So you go my string dot index, and you get the start of the string. String start index and you offset it by the number. So that'll take me to like zero, one, two. It wants me to fix it. Oh, whoops, get rid of that column. Now I can use that. All right, that works. So put it zero. Oh, okay. So it treats that not as zero, it goes one, two. So after. Uh, no, that's right, it's because zero, one, two, that is the uh, second index. If I put one, let's check that out. That should replace the E, yep, and push it over. Great, so that is done. Um, you can even use this string index another way. Um, like just say, so what's another thing we have to get? Get the index of the fourth letter. Let's, use, let's do that. So to get the index of the fourth letter, so my string, all right, uh, get the index of the fourth letter. Well, I would just convert, make this the fourth index, which would be the fourth letter. 
actually three, three in this case, because uh, we've got zero, one, two, three. That's the fourth letter, so it should be L. And I'll put that in here. And I'm just gonna get rid of this insert, just so that I'm just gonna work with this one. And these two, I'm gonna get rid of those as well. Just so that I'm gonna, like, cause I'm adding different strings here. I just wanna work with the original. And, and we're going to get zero, one, two, this L. Okay, let's do that. Yep, there we go. So that got the L. I'll just check that. If I go to four, this should give me the O. Good. Okay, so that's how you get the index of the fourth letter. Next, insert, let's have a look. Insert an exclamation after the last letter. All right, this one's a little bit trickier. Let's give it a go though. Uh, so to get the last letter, what we have to do is use this string index again, and I'm gonna go my string dot count. Right, and that should give me the last letter, which is an E. Right now it's saying it's out of bounds, which is true because the count is too big. So minus one there, that'll give us the E. So that gives us the last letter. And then we're gonna insert after it. So I'm just gonna borrow this here. Put it here, exclamation, and insert it there. All right, let's try that. All right, now I did do that after the last, but it seems to not like that. So uh, I, I wanna, like when you insert, it's gonna create a new area. So after the E, so what I have to do, I'm not gonna use this because this causes an error because it, it jumps out of the amount of characters that are there because right, uh, the count would be 11. And with when you count a, a string, it's 0, 1, 2, th hang on, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's how that works. So it starts at 0 and you start counting. All right, let's try this. I'm going to get rid of this minus 1, and I'm going to insert it after the E. And there we go. So that has done that. Uh, remove the letter E from hello. All right, let's try it. So we know it's zero, one. So my string dot remove at one. Now, once again, I can't just do one because that's not a string string index. So I'm going to do that, which will give me the E. I'm gonna put this in here, run that. All right, good, so it's removed it, but let's print the string after removing it, and there we go, it's removed the E. So oh, that's, that's probably enough for this one. Um, I'm gonna do a totally different one with prefixes next, and uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Have a good day.